Hey guys, I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Um, first off, I just want to say I am sorry for dropping out of existence there with no warning. Um, I got a little over, I, I got more than a little overwhelmed. Um, between needing to withdraw from school and dealing with um, just life in general and adjusting to things and dealing with the people that kept consistently knocking on my door constantly um, and just everything in general, I got um, a little overwhelmed and just decided that I needed to take a break and focus on myself. Because of my ADD, ADHD, whatever you want to call it in adults, and um, the memory issues from ECT and anxiety and whatnot, I live my life by schedules. Um, my calendar, I have everything on there on my calendar, just about, I mean, from how often I change the, you know, I deal, you know, with the cat's um, litter system or taking out the trash, I'm taking the trash bins out, not taking out the trash. I take the trash out when it gets full. Taking the bins out, um, you know, everything, all my appointments, everything goes in there. Um, and I, I do get this nice little um, dopamine surge or whatever my therapist called it when I get to delete something off of the calendar um you know showing that I, I finished it you know and i have my yarny project schedule and you know so i live my life by schedules but i got a little locked into the schedule to where i wasn't letting myself deviate from it and i was that was just um making where things weren't as enjoyable and where things were getting stressful and the blue light reflecting in my glasses is annoying me. So you get to see me without my glasses. Um, so I had been working on and making quite a bit of progress with, I still have my schedule. I still put everything on the calendar. I still have my alarms and whatnot. My lights are on a schedule. Um, but I'm, I'm working on giving myself permission to say, screw the schedule if I need to. And giving myself a lot more flexibility and things are getting back to to normal. Um, I'm still not going back to school. I don't think school is going to be... I I liked learning. I liked the, the process of you know going to class and whatnot, but I was not able to retain the... what I was learning, which was... I was having to constantly relearn things, which was putting me behind, which was causing some... causing a lot of stress, and that was just something I didn't need. I just... It's just not going to work for me right now, and that's fine. Um, like I'm even realizing with Yarny stuff, there are a lot of times I have to go back and, and relearn things. Like I got out the loom yesterday to loom knit a hat, and I I have two basic ways of starting a beanie, and I have one where the easy way where I fold over the edge, and so it um, it's got double thickness on the the, you know, the um, border band, but there's another way to create a border on a loom that, and I know there is, and I know that I used to do it, and I know that it's annoying, but I can't remember what it is, so I'd have to, I'd have to relearn that if I wanted to do something like that, but I'm not stressed about it right now, um, so let's see what's going on in my life, okay, I'm old enough that there's a certain medical test that you have to get done, like, every 10 years, once you get to a certain age, and I'm not just for decency sake, not going to say exactly what the test was, but just let you know that the drink that you have to drink to prepare for the test tastes like dirty gym socks, but got that test. It was fine. Um, everything looked good. I don't have to do it again for 10 years. Yay. Um, and ECT is currently on hold. Not my fault. It's on hold this time. Because of all the, you know, COVID stuff and whatnot that's going on, um, it's Oklahoma is in the red zone for transmission rates in all of our counties. We're just stupid with it out here. Um, but the hospital that 
I was going to for ACT has restricted what can be done in their outpatient surgery center because they're um, conserving resources. So the hospital itself has said that for the time being, they're not allowing ECT procedures done there. But if I get to point where I absolutely need to have a treatment, I can call, there's another hospital that's probably about a half hour from me that is um, still doing it, same doctor, the thing being is I'd have to get there at like 5.30 in the morning, which would mean my sister would have to pick me up at 5 in the morning, which means they'd have to leave their house at like 4.15 in the morning, and I don't know that I could be that mean to my sister. Um, I'm not needing ACT right now. I told my therapist last week that my goal is to see if I can stay at a level where I don't need to go back. Um... And when I have my appointment with my psychiatrist, mental health nurse practitioner, whatever you want to call him, and that one is on the 13th, I'll let him know my goal as well, so that I have two medical professionals that I see on a regular basis that will be able to sit there, evaluate me and say, you know, you probably might want to, you know, call and make an appointment type thing. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but my therapist did say this last week that she was proud of me, um, yay, because I seem to be actually fairly upbeat, not manic, yay, um, just upbeat, just doing good. I've been watching a lot of streaming, you know, streaming video, TV shows, um, I, it is so funny because I go between, I want things in order, in patterns and whatnot to certain things are just randomized um like when i do my laundry and i hang it up to dry i just would the luck of the draw whatever shirt you know comes next in line is the one i wear i don't really care um same way with picking my socks for the day with the tv shows i use the random number generator to on google to decide which tv show or which which network and then which tv show i'm going to watch so i'm not spending you know, six weeks watching the same show, binging the whole thing. So, and it, it's funny because it's a lot more variety and that's keeping me from getting, from feeling like I'm locked into something and I'm giving myself permission that even if at some point I put something on my list of things I wanted to watch, if I don't want to watch it anymore, or if I think it's just stupid now, like the, I started to watch 2012 Supernova earlier, which was a disa cheesy disaster flick. And I used to like those, but I just couldn't get past the um, racial, cultural, whatever stereotypes that were in there that I'm just like, you know what, I don't particularly am not interested. So I'm giving myself permission to skip movies, which is fine. But the mornings, I'm watching TV shows, and then the evenings, yeah, I'm watching YouTube to keep from that. My watch letter queue got up like 650. So I'm like, yeah, I'm watching shows, but I'm, I'm behind, but, um, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I think it was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm not sure. Anyway, three days last week, it took three days, the first set, the first two days, it took two hours each day, I, that was all I could handle, and then the second day was just one hour that I spent on a video chat with Sabrina so that she could not, not that I could, could only handle two hours with her. It was, I could only handle two hours doing what we were doing. I organized my yarn wall and that's what I could only handle for a couple hours. I had quite a bit of fun video chatting with Sabrina. Um, but anyway, we've gone through, you can see, we've added more stuff to the top. Those are the very top ones. 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 Um, 
Scrunchies, and then over here, behind this clay, behind this tray, more yarn. Hmm. You don't have to keep the tray here because Little Miss is a shithead, and we'll pull the yarn out to play with it tonight. She doesn't mess with the yarn on the yarn wall, but she will in the tube over there. And I got um, a new. That came yesterday. It took me about two hours to put together because I had one stage that I had to do like three times in a row because I had to rotate it to make so I could do the next stage because I put it on wrong. And so the first time I went, back, went to fix it, I rotated it the wrong direction. So then I had to, you know, play with it. And, um, oh, hang on. Yeah, else anyway, I had to rotate it, so I finally got it put together, and the other cat tree my sister's going to take whenever she gets a chance to come out and pick it up, but it's in a different part of the house right now, and the cats, I'm Mac, when, it, when I first put it up, Little Miss sniffed at it quite a bit, kind of explored it, Max sniffed at it, and then just walked away and went and got on the cat tree in the other room. So right now, when I give them their cat treats, I'm putting them on the tree, and um, I've caught Max going in there's the little the cube, the, the cat cave. He's gone in that a couple times, so um, eventually they'll get to where they like it, but, you know, right now, they could care less, so, and the... I don't know that they'll ever get in the cat basket, the little hanging basket. Um, they might, I'd be but I'll be surprised if they will. So. And this, the end of this month will be a year since I have cut or trimmed my beard. Um, I have trimmed the mustache because otherwise I'd have mustache hairs like all on my mouth and everything. But this is getting about this much cut off. I'm trimming it, and I, I can't wait. I was going to try and keep growing it out longer, but if you, you can see, it gets it's super thick here, and then suddenly it's super thin, and it just looks scuzzy. So, but anyway, as far as what I've been up to, I've been making a lot of market bags, like these, and this is the only one I have to show, because I've given all the rest of them away, and this one I'll probably give away too. Um, that's what I do with all my stuff. But these are all made out of cotton, so they, they're, they're a little slightly stretchy based on the design, but they're not super stretchy yarn like what I was using, and when I use the Bernat Maker Home Deck. Um, so they don't, like, stretch down to the ground when you put something in them. So, but I've been working on these, but they're cotton, so if they get dirty, I keep saying so, I'm not sure why, but they get, they get dirty, just throw them in the washer. This one is made out of cotton. It's made out of holiday yarn. Um, hence the, you know, red and green went up. So first time making this pattern, and you start out knitting, crocheting. You start out crocheting just you know, back and forth in rows, and then at some point you start going in rounds. And it was the first time doing it, and it actually came out pretty good. I think that the next time I work this bag, I'm going to go for some yarn, cotton yarn that's not as stiff because I think that's what's making the, the handle so curly. 
um, the rest of this is like, I like, what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to run it through the washer with some, um, fabric softener to see how it does with that. So, there's that word again. Um, that should help. I did have, where was that go? I have, right now, I currently have two scrunchies. I have this green and yellow and but not it's more green it looks gray on camera but it's more green in real life and then this teal blue i had a blanket that i loved it was super soft super comfortable but every time i use it i would get snagged on something and i just it kept having you know yarn loops that were hanging off of it that just i couldn't fix and so i ended up having to deconstruct it and have reclaimed the yarn using it for other projects um, I used to, I did have a lot more scrunchies because I'm working more on scrunchies and the junk blanket in the evenings and I'll do my normal scheduled projects during the daytime and then switch over in the evenings. But, um, I went to the dentist last week and I took my dentist a market bag and some of the, um, uh, lip balms that I make and a whole bunch of scrunchies so she's thrilled and she said all of her classmates are jealous as she's got the best student and i told her she's got she's got a, a pain in the butt student because i was supposed to have gotten my permanent crown fit for a tooth and okay i had a medical procedure the medical test that we we're talking about i had it tuesday and then tuesday afternoon my tooth started hurting off and on and then at some point during the night, it just started hurting constantly. And then by the time I got to the dentist, I was flipping miserable. Like, I was close to crying. I hurt so bad. But, um, it turned out that the tooth that was going to get the permanent crown needed a root canal. So at least we figured that out before we put the crown on there. And we already had the crown, so the root canal is a lot turned out to be a lot cheaper than what I was expecting. I was expecting them to hand me a four digit number and it was like less than 250 bucks. I, because it's going to a school of dentistry, my insurance doesn't cover them. And so I'm paying everything out of pocket, but what I'm paying out of pocket is cheaper than what I'd be paying with. Um, dental insurance. At least for this year medicare open enrollment comes up on starts on the 15th and because i qualify for medicaid dual something i don't know i i actually instead of going on a website to research them this year i actually called my insurance company's sales department i'm like okay help me help me pick out an insurance plan and i probably would have qualified for a similar plan for this year had i actually called in last year to find out but Pretty much, I'm not going to have to pay co-pays for anything next year, and my dental insurance is going to kick butt. Uh, I won't be able to go to the same dentist that I'm using now, so I'm going to try and get the treatment plan with her finished before I start switching off to another one. Um, then we're talking like, like no copay even for a lot of the dental procedures. The eye, eye insurance is not that great, but you know. Apparently, for most people, you know, at least they're covering dental. That's an improvement. And my glasses are, are new, so I'll be able to deal with them for a while. And they would even cover hearing tests, although I don't think I'm, from what I Googled, I'm not quite old enough for that yet, to need that hearing screening yet. Um, but, like, I'll have transportation assistance. Like, they'll take me to, I get 36, visits, 36 rides a year to, um, Doctor visits, even grocery stores, whatnot like that. My groceries, I get delivered, so, you know. So that'll help out a little bit for, um, like, if I do need to go back to ECT or if I'm having a procedure where I can't drive myself or be trusted to take public transportation back. Um, they have this thing called a healthy foods card that I get $50 a month for to go buy healthy foods. And... Um, they have an over-the-counter benefit. Look, my insurance now has an over-the-counter benefit. It's like fifty. It's forty-five dollars every three months. Next year, it's going to be a hundred dollars every month 
and I can even use it at local pharmacies or Walmart, you know, whatnot, just still for the approved items list. But so I'm just my insurance is going to be really good, but it's the same provider, so I don't have to get new authorizations. We already know all my current providers are covered, my current prescriptions are covered. So it's just, you know, that's. Oh, and there's absolutely no copay for me. So right now I'm paying like $22 a month. But it's just, it's going to be a really good plan, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, yay. Um, but anyway, enough about all that stuff. Projects that I'm working on. Okay, so um, let's go through my schedule here. Monday is the Sabrina project, which is this one. You guys don't get to see it because it's we're still working on it. Um, but I'm making progress on it, and I'm doing good, and I'm I'm having fun. So that Tuesday is the crochet bag, the which was the market bags that I'm making, which are when I made one out of this yarn, Mirafield Bella Cotton. And um that's the one no that's the one I gave my therapist. Um but I'm going to make this use the same cotton to make the second one. I might actually keep this one. But I haven't started it yet so there's not really anything in there. As the Wednesday is the monthly start. I was having so much issue with, I'm mean, like, I'd start a pattern, start a stitch, and didn't like it, and it just, it was not working well, and then I'd skip it and pick a different one, and I went through like three or four different ones before I finally realized it's the yarn and not the, um, the pattern. Not that it was a bad yarn, it just wasn't working for the stitches. So I went to, this is some of yarn that I found hidden in a back shelf of my um, yarn wall. And I've got quite a bit of it. So this is the current month. Uh, this is my November scarf. So I am ahead of schedule. Let me turn this. Okay, that's gonna be weird. I accidentally ended the video, and so this is part two. Um, but anyway, this is what working with the November scarf. So. November 1, and then we'll pick out the one for December, and I'll pick out a yarn out of the uh, box with the monthly yarn scarfs in it. Monthly scarf yarns in it. Okay, Thursday is a knit hat, and I'm going to start a new pattern this Thursday. I had made a hat, um, and I finally made the Ross hat. And you, the first time I actually, I've ever actually used DPNs for what they're supposed to be, you know, not just because I needed to needle that particular size. Um, but it's knitting around. And then you get to certain, of course, when you get to a certain point, you have to um, switch to DPNs. And suddenly I went from stocking stitch to garter stitch when I knit the DPNs, and I have no clue what I did. Um, I have, there's a class coming at Michael's. It's having a class on the 9th, which is next Saturday, because it's National Yarn Day. And they've got a knitting for beginners, a crochet for beginners. They've got a fall knit hat, and um, there's another one I can't remember. But anyway, I signed up for the fall knit hat, and hopefully he will explain what I did wrong with the um, DPNs. But there's a apparently there's a method for knitting a hat in the round where you never actually have to go with the DPNs. You just have to use a really long... Um, circular needle. So I am going to have to learn that in the next couple weeks or so because I'm going to work on that on Saturday. But my next hat that I'm going to make is Bobby's slouchy beanie pattern. And I've got the, the pattern here, but I'm going to do it with Oh, and apparently I've started it. I have started it. Huh? So, do the, the body of it in this nice little burgundy color, and then do the, the brim in the gray. See, when I talk about my, my short-term memory being jacked up, I forgot that I'd started that. So, but anyway, 
So that is the Thursday project. Friday is still the diamond painting. And I did this diamond painting. And these are the ones that frustrate you because this is not part of the, this is not full drill. And full drill meaning you have to put the little diamond plastic bits all over the whole canvas. This one is just in the middle, which means it's a quick one, but it's still kind of annoying. This is the one, current one I'm doing. I should be able to finish it this Friday. And Sabrina was a, Sabrina figured out there was a boat there before I did when I showed her a picture of it. Because it's just, when you look at it, like, on camera, it makes more, it looks more like what it's supposed to be than what it does when you're immediately looking at it. You have to get some distance from it before it goes in. But this is what they call full drill. The whole canvas has little plastic bits. So I'm almost done with that one. And then I will just pick another one to work on. I don't know what I'll do with those when I'm done with them. Um, if they're close to an 8x10 or 8x11 you know, type you know, size, I have picture frames for them. But anything other than that, I don't have frames. And I looked online. Sometimes frames are cheap. Sometimes they're not. But, um, I guess I can get frames when I, as I, um, finish projects, so. Okay, Saturday is the knit sweater, and it's currently on the whip tree because it's driving me batty. What I'm down, I've got all the pieces knitted, I've got the, um, the, the collar done, I've got the shoulder seams, I've got the actual sleeves attached, I just need to seam the sleeve and then seam down the side on both sides and it was driving me bonkers i hate i hate the sewing things together part that's the worst part about about any of these projects whether it's knitting or crocheting uh, i tried to do a method a joining method with crocheting it and then it just didn't like didn't do well because the edges are just wonky so i've got to undo it and then start over and i just decided that I'm going to take a break from it for a little bit, and so it went on the tree. Um, and I guess I'll have to find a different project to do on Saturdays right now. But anyway, but um, Sundays is I'm making a tissue couch. It's, what it is, is it covers a box of tissue paper, and it's the shape of a couch. And Sabrina sent me the pattern. So what I've got so far is this is apparently supposed to be the body of it. It a little bit too big to be a sweatband, but you know, we've got this part. And then I am this is the no actually no, this is the top part, like you know, where the, the sleeve the tissues come out of there. And then this is the back of the couch, and I'm halfway through the pattern, so now I'm working on the decreases, but and that so I am almost done with it and then I have the assembly part so getting yeah we're getting to the fun part but I need to have it done before my next therapy session which is on where's my calendar again which is on the 14th so because I want to give to her um give to my therapist on the 14th I just I think she would think it was funny the that it's a couch for the you know the therapist couch so, let's see, and then sun, that's the Sunday project. Now the, oh, I know what I started for the Saturday project. I need to add that on there. I started a, um, my brain's resetting there for a moment. Um, a scarf, no, not a scarf, a shawl. I've never made a shawl before. So I started one, and this is making this out of the Cotton Kings, um, what do they call it? Twirls Deluxe. Just the, so we're on the orange part. So this is what I've got so far. And I'm having fun with it. It's really simple pattern. It's actually, it's um, Darn Good Yarn's Neon Pop. But I'm not using the yarn that they want, so it's not Neon Pop. But that's what I'm working on. That's my Saturday project. I need to add that to the calendar so I don't forget what it is. Let me add that real quick. Is seriously me and my memory. It's uh, 
Okay, got that on there. So we got that. And then here is the my out and about, my errands project. And I just started the third skein of yarn. So I've got two more skeins. Um, so, and it needs washed because I got something on it at some point. So I'm about halfway through because I think it's going to be 40 inches by 40 inches by the time I'm done. So, we're about halfway through. And I just started the third skein, so I'll have enough yarn. I'll use almost all of it. But I've got that that I've been working on. And then we have oh the, the loom knit hat that I've told you about. This is all I've got so far. And I'm using this home the line brand homespun yarn, which is it's nice and it's soft, but it will shred easily. So when you're knitting or crocheting, you know, you have to be real careful when you're frogging because it'll get tangled, which is why I'm using it for loom knitting. So I'll get that project that I work on just whenever I feel like it. And okay, I already showed you the scrunchies. And then the jump blanket. And which you know, it's quite wide. We've got It's quite wide, but it's still fairly short, but, you know, we're getting there. We're making progress, so not quite sure what I'm done with this. Probably giving it, giving it to my sister or something, and then just start another one, so, and when I finish a project with the yarn, if I have less than a skein of yarn left, Depending on the weight, if it's um, generally if the if what if the leftover yarn is at is less than a hundred uh, like generally between twenty five and fifty grams, sometimes up to just under a hundred grams, it goes to the scrunchie bag. And once I'm done with scrunchies, if it's once it gets to where it's less than twenty five grams of yarn, then it goes to the jump blanket. So, but um, anyway. That is what I have been up to. I'm going to try to make videos, at you know, at least once a week. I've got it on my calendar now, again. But I'm not going to, I can't guarantee it just because I don't know necessarily, you know, what life is going to throw at me. But I am here, and I do want to thank everyone for sticking around and for putting up with me. And... I will see you guys next time.